Hello and I hope you're doing well. On this video we're gonna take a look at this Sony digital camera model is ZV-1F and this is for the blogger and of course you can use it for other times but it is perfect for the blogger because he has a very nice screen that you can see yourself while you're creating your blog. There are several things that I like about the camera. One of the things that I like about the camera is that it's easy to upload the pictures or the video to your smartphone using the application. It also comes with creative look, so you have color theme selection. It also has slow and quick button to take slow and quick motion video easily. It has face priority auto exposure. It has one touch broken button for background defocus. It has an easy touch screen operation. It also has a product showcase mode and this is for the blog specific feature. It also has a very angle LCD. It has an eye auto focus and it has a wide angle 20 millimeter f2.0 fixed lens. It also has a large 1 inch RS CMOS sensor and lastly Sony used recycled materials for the body plastic windscreen and package materials. And here you have your limited warranty. You have a reference guide, accessories that you can get in another language, digital camera, how to use it. And here it gives you a QR code to first learn more about your camera. It is a help guide. Here is, let's put this to the side for now. So here are the items that you get in the box. First you get your battery and here is the model number NPBX1. Then you have your cable and the cable is uh, USB-C. Then you have your wind breaker or this is helps you when you're outdoors and there's plenty of wind so you can go ahead and get better sound without all that of the wind and lastly you have your camera i like how it looks it has a very nice black matte finish it does have this cover and you can go ahead and put this back so you can protect the lens here you have some controls here you have different inputs or outputs you have HDMI here then you have the USB next then you have the microphone last and on the other side there's nothing here back here you have more controls and then you have the best thing of the camera you have the screen so if you're blogging you want to see what's going on while you're recording yourself and if you want to see what's in front you could always close it and see what's on the other side of your camera if you want to go ahead and open it up and you want to do this so you can see what's on the other side of the camera you can do so and lastly if you want to take a video of something while you're not focusing on what's going on you're focusing on the screen you could always take videos this way so therefore you're focusing here while you're taking video of what's in front of you so I like that here it's protected and of course you could also use it this way. And it's very light, it's really nice. So let's say you're recording outside and the microphone is here and it's windy you can go ahead and use this 
So you can put it here. And you still can record using the microphone. This will prevent from getting extra noise. So that's pretty cool that it comes with this. And if you want to install the battery, just pull this and then install your battery. And this is the wrong way, he has an arrow. So let's put it the other way. And there. And there's a space here for your SD card. And let's see if it turns on. Here's the on button. So it did turn on. So let's see what's on the screen. You can choose your language. You have between Spanish, Italian, French, and English. And then here it gives you this screen. And once you hit under, I understand, then you can go ahead and connect your smartphone to your camera. Or you can skip. So let's uh, skip for now. You can go ahead and register your camera later. So let's do that later. You want to go ahead and set your area, date, and time. So once you set up your time, then it gives you the screen and right now as I can see it does say that there's no card inserted we need to put a card in there and also it gives you indication for the battery here it gives you a lot more options here on the right and as you can see it does have the microphone and it has left and right channel here so you have plenty of things to play around with on the screen and of course if you want to go ahead and switch from camera to video there's the button here so you have between camera and video we are charging the camera and as you can see there's a yellow light right there on the on and off button you know when the battery is fully charged when the light goes off once the battery is fully charged and you have the memory card in there as well then you can go ahead and open up the screen and once you open it it'll turn on right away and let's look at the menu we won't go into detail into every little thing but just so you can see what the camera has let's start at the top He has a main menu, soft menu, and he has different items on each one. And you can go down to the next one. Here you have about the images and how to shoot. exposure focus playback You can connect the camera to your cell phone so you can download the pictures to your phone or you can actually control the camera from your cell phone. You could also connect it through your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and here you have more things to choose from.
and you could also touch the screen at any time. And if you wanted to zoom in and out, you have this. If you want to take a picture using this button, if you want to record here, and you can tell when it's recording video, it looks like that. It stops, take a picture. And then you have the background defocus right here and it tells you now I'm using the camera and this is the normal shooting so let's turn on the defocus mode in there that's what it looks like so everything in the background is blurry only focusing on your subject and it has really nice video quality and I'm using the microphone that it comes with so now Let's see what it sounds like with the cover. So this is what the microphone sounds like without the windscreen. So let me put this on. And this is what it sounds like with the windscreen. And of course, if you have it outside, you can tell the difference much more. And let's say you want to send the picture or the file over to your phone you can go ahead and do it from pressing this button and this is what comes up you can send the image or with this date filtered images multiple images so let's hit this image and here you can download the app so you can connect your smartphone or you can choose to send it to the smartphone and you have to connect your camera through Bluetooth. And it gives you instructions on how to do it. You could also connect via Wi Fi. I like how easy it was to connect to the smartphone. He walked step by step on how to do it. So most of the camera he has instructions or tips on how to do one thing or the other for example if you go to the shooting mode and you want to change the settings there it gives you an explanation of every setting that you can choose from here you have intelligent program aperture shutter manual so that's pretty cool if you want to go back you can go ahead and press the menu button and you can go ahead and play around with it and if you want to broadcast your blog you can go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth you could always just go ahead and and uh, record it and then edit and then send it and once you're done with the camera, you can go ahead and close it. And it turns off. So you get the idea of how good the camera is. I've had it for two months and I've taken videos, I've taken photos, and it does a really, really good job on doing both. I also have the shotgun microphone that goes here and you don't need any wires all you have to do is slide it in and go ahead and make it tight and that is it the microphone faces you while you're blogging and lastly you have your tripod that you can go ahead and 
screw on in there and now you have a complete kit for your Sony CV-1F and you can go ahead and also control the camera from here so you don't have to play around with the camera especially if you're blogging so you want to look at yourself while while you are recording so if this is facing you you can see what's going on and then you can just go ahead and close this hit the record photo zoom in zoom out and you can go ahead and always lock it so you have everything here and it is nice and comfortable you have a nice grip so you can go ahead and easily walk around with it and if you want to go ahead and sit this somewhere you can always do that and control your camera through your phone so you don't even need to be right next to it you can go ahead and move this around you gotta loosen on the right press on the left you can go ahead and always put it anywhere you want it it's a very nice camera it's compact you can put it on a case that you can buy and you can put everything in that case you can always take it apart very easily there and your microphone comes with your windscreen so you don't have that hissing sound if you don't have access to your shotgun mic you can always do this I hope this video helps you in any way thank you for watching and enjoy